Welcome to Defect of the Month, taken from the NPL Defect database. My name is Bob Willis, and this month let's consider conventional component damage. Now, conventional components, when mounted on the surface of a printed circuit board, and then the board goes through the wave soldering process, can be damaged. And generally, when we move from tin lead to lead free technology, this can occur. And basically, the reason is the top side board temperature will be hotter than it previously was with tin lead technology. So when converting from tin lead to lead free, you must review the temperature characteristics of your conventional components. Some of the components more commonly damaged or distorted are connectors, are IC sockets, and some plastic capacitor bodies and basically they're being melted or distorted by the higher process temperatures. So when you're reviewing the conversion of tin lead to lead free components make sure that these components are compatible with your top side board temperature. Alternatively have a look very closely at what the actual temperatures you're seeing on the top side of your board as it's going through the wave soldering process. Quite often a lot of people do not check the actual peak temperature they're only worried about what the temperature is prior to hitting the solder wave. 